Munchkin's doing his calendar. And let's go. This is really cool. No, it's in the one underneath, I think. Oh no, there it is, you're right. Duh! Whoa! Who is it? May I see? Oh, what a cute little Pokemon! That's so cute! There you go, my love. Wow! I told you. That's a really special coin. Mom, and... There, there, there. Can't you see it? I can Mom. see. Yeah, I know. If you tip it like that, my love, you can see what's underneath. You okay? I'm gonna open number 22. Buddy, you know we can only open them on the day. Oh. Before we go on holiday, we'll see what we're gonna do. Maybe we can see if there's space for the calendar and the suitcase and take it from there. Mm -hmm. I love you, Bubba. I wish we could just do this. I know, baby. Open. Oh, it would be so fun. We did that, didn't we? We bought last year's calendar. Remember? And we opened them all, but we didn't yeah. do it. We did that before. Oh no! We did that before December. Oh no, was there a yogurt spillage? What, open every door? Yeah. Because it's bad luck, my love, to open the days before the days come. Just like it's bad luck to celebrate your birthday, but oh no! <laughs> before your birthday. Okay, no more yogurt. Sort out my bonnet because it is messy. Um, what am I going to do with it? That I don't know. Bun, ponytail, probably do a clip. Um, my SPF on, and then try and make myself look a little less ill. Um, I'm going to actually. Moisturize again because I feel like I need it. This is the Cordially Reserve Troll Day Cream. I go to SPF. It's this Bioderma one. It is so good. It has a little bit of color. You have to shake it like a Polaroid picture really vigorously and then I just go on my fingers this is in the color light um, in the summer I'm usually the color up which is golden um, but I feel like that will be too tan for now Um, next, I use these little Clarins, um, they're like skincare foundation hybrid, um, capsules. Go to my makeup table, and I mix that with a little bit of my uh, Kevin O'Quan concealer. There's, I'm looking for this lip liner. <laughs> there she is. So the Clarins drops I'm talking about are called the Milky Boost Capsules and I have like a spare one because I'm definitely a hoarder but I'm also one of those people that gets, I'm an anxious person as we know and my anxiety gets triggered if I really really like a product and I'm starting to get to the end I have to buy another one so that when, because the likelihood that I remember like two capsules before to go and buy one or I'm able to just go is very unlikely so I before I run out will have a backup is that weird do, does everybody do that um so yeah here's my backup of these which I have one two three four five six left so six is six days because it says um that it's a I'm pretty sure it says it yeah 30 capsules one capsule, one application. So it's a 30 day system, if you will, which I feel like in terms of how much wear you get versus like a normal foundation that comes, you know, in a pump, I feel like those, depending on how often you wear makeup or use them, I feel last longer. Like my foundation, 
whatever it is, um, la has lasted me, like I've had it for a while, probably even too long, um, but these, like I get through them. I don't wear makeup every day, so they last me more than 30 days, however, I just don't think they last as long as a big foundation bottle or, you know, tinted moisturiser or whatever. All of my makeup and skincare is already in the travel bags just because it makes it easier for me to find even though I've had a massive makeup clear out because I really just don't hold makeup like I used to. I don't feel the need to have like all these palettes and things. Um, I did get sent a lot of it but yeah I've cleared out and less is more. Anywho, so I'm going to find my Kevin O'Croix. My Kevin O'Croix is in SX07 and my uh, Milky Boost capsules, like I said, or I think I said, are in number three. Um, so I'm going to take a capsule. Primark sold this whole kit. Makeup Artist Essentials Kit. And it comes with all of the things. And some of the things are these little spatulas. However, where are they? Spatulies, where are you? Oh, oh, they're in here. What am I like? So yes, pretty handy the things that it comes with, especially for travel. Um, so I will use this side. I don't take a lot of the Kevin O'Croix because I feel like a little goes a long way. And I'll put that on my hand. Open the capsule, which is always a bit of a ooh experience, as in it kind of goes everywhere. Then I'll take a dollop, dollop, that's a fun word, and kind of mix that up. And it just gives you a little bit more coverage. The um, Milky Boost capsules are not full, full coverage. I feel like it's more of like a light to medium coverage. But so adding the Kevin O'Croix, especially for the under eye area, just, yeah, gives you a little bit more concealage. Concealage? Is that a word? Doesn't sound like it. It conceals more than if you were to just use the Milky Boost by yourself, but then by itself. Um, you could go in with concealer after, which I'm going to on these lovely intruders. Yeah, I like this as my sort of everyday kind of go-to makeup. Skincare meets foundation. 94% um, ingredients of natural origin, plant enriched. It's radiance and nutrition with peach kernel oil. Now when you just have those days where you just want to look less disheveled so that you feel less disheveled, that's today for me, which is nice. It's nice when you catch a glimpse of yourself or when you're vlogging for example and you have to like sort of look at yourself when you're editing and filming to not be like ah every time you see yourself uh right there's still a little bit of kevin O'Croix on the spatula so i'm just gonna pop that where i could do with some extra help i'm gonna let that marinate I don't think marinate's the right word. Maybe a little bit on the under eye. My under eyes lately have not been. It's like super sunken because I'm just not getting enough sleep. That's what I'm putting it down to. Not just the way I look. Um, blend this a little. That's better. Right, so now I'm going to um, set this layer. This is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Matte. Then I'm going to put a little bit of blusher on. 
this one's by Catrice. It's the Air Blush oh, Matte in Berry Breeze. Oh, <laughs> forgot to blend out that one. So I'm going to use my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder to sort of set this all in. This stuff is amazing. And for a little bit of glow, I've been using this mini, if I can find it, ooh, just, oh, I remember, this is my heated eyelash curler, so I need to turn that on. I've been using the mini hourglass, yeah, little ambient light powder in dim light. Oh, I hear it. Hi, mister. Put something on my lips. I no. Put a bit of this on. Yes? I have so many lip balms packed. Why do I see a, a cheeky monkey slidey face? Oh, this is my bracelet. Oops. There's literally lip balms on everywhere. Your phone. Lip balm. Lip balm. <laughs> yes, my love, you may. Where is it? It's here. Yours. This one's got, this is the one I mentioned when I said I've got the purple, I don't have the oil, but it's like a really nice colour. Mm, I want to do a story time later of my Birkin, because I haven't that. shared it with you guys. Happy and I feel like, Christmas. what better intro into the fashion content than so, the Birkin? So, Gonna go now. I think that's it for me. Oh, the noise! Baba, can we turn it down? The noise is... Oh, he's dancing. Okay, we're dancing. I'm going to set this again. Oh, and I think that will do... Oh, the lashes. Got this little heated eyelash curler contraption by Style Pro. It's the same brand as my little fridge. And I like it. It's kind of... Well, it's not tricky to use, but you just need to sort of get the hang of it. And I feel like I've noticed that my lashes stay curled for, age, for ages. What is that? It's an eyelash curler, look. Can I have a try? Can you see how my eyelashes have gone all curly? Your eyelashes are beautiful, my love. They're already so curly. Can you see the difference? Look. Yeah. How these ones go up and these ones don't. Okay, yeah. my yes, my love. Ooh. Follow me to the wedding side. I am lying in the Oh dear, not that one, my love. I don't want to get that's brown eyeliner. She's here on my lap. Why? Did she want to fiddle with all my makeup? No, 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 buddy. That's that's. That one was already. Right. Hey. Catch you shortly. Because it's about to get real chaos. Did you just fart on me? Somebody just did a body burp on mummy. A body burp? Thank you. Bye bye. And the turn it off yeah. The eyelash cutter comes in a cool little case. Oh. There we go. Let's go, my love. Follow me. Outfit wise, I've gone pretty cash. I'm wearing this vintage Harley Davidson jumper that was my dad's and these Urban Outfitters cargo jeans these are just my house slippers um, in my hair I put this like Prada gold thing I hope it looks alright um, it kind of ties in with the gold on my top and then I'm thinking either these or my dunks
think maybe the dunks. Yeah, I'm going to go for the dunks because there's gold and silver on this. It's a tad matchy, but I kind of live for that shit. So the lighting wasn't great um, at my full-length mirror, but I've just thrown on this bomber jacket. So it kind of ties in. Um, but yeah. A shoebox initiative going on at Alexander School where you put together um, a shoebox to donate. And so we're doing one. And we're going to go and get some more little things to pop in here. Uh, so, yeah. Javier's leaving. <laughs> He's just abandoning us. Um, well, I was going to say something. Oh, it, yeah, it is. What's the word I'm looking for? Very... No, I got the chair. I'm like glowing. I know I got. That look... It is so abnormally hot Shield for December. You. Louder. my nose. I feel you, Athena, I feel you. I'm constantly touching my face, I need to stop. I think it's because subconsciously I'm like, you should be here. <laughs> so I just got home and put things that I got for the box in the box took, oh, <laughs> took all the prices off and now I've got to wrap it in Christmas paper so I'm going to do that and I'm going to have to hang some laundry um, and yeah and then hopefully do a story time about my Birkin that I got last Christmas uh, when Athena wakes up Two hours later. Ta da! I'm just reinforcing the corners with tape so that when the lid goes on, Ooh, a bit of a tight fit with the lid because of the wrapping paper. I don't want the corners to rip. But there you go, you pretty much get the gist. I'm really pleased with it. And voila! So I've come to the laundry room to do the laundry. This morning I washed this dress with everything. Athena's dress which has glitter. All, I don't know if you can see it, but all on the tutu. And now everything, everything that was in with the dress, mix of Alexander's stuff, my stuff, which doesn't really matter, but Fabio's stuff, covered in glitter. I've washed it twice now. Glitter is still fully adhered. I don't know if it's gonna come up on camera, probably not. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, look. Do you see the glitter everywhere? Fabio's like, oh, just let it dry and it'll shake off. It is literally all inside. Alexander and Fabio and I are going to be covered in glitter for the foreseeable. We're literally going to be like characters out of Twilight. And then the other option, common sense, is telling me, well, you could lint roll them when they're dry. But I mean, a lint roll every single item inside and out. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> oh. I honestly feel like even if I try to wash it again, the glitter's still gonna be there. So I've just gotta hang it up and hope for the best. Oh, that's not too glittery. No, no, it's glittery. Oh. 
Crikey. More glitter. There's going to be glitter on everything and everyone. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to turn the stuff the right way around. <laughs> everything is shining. Oh. It doesn't bother me so much on my stuff and Athena stuff. Except for the fact that it comes off onto everything. I was wondering why at dinner Fabio had glitter on his face. Oh, dearie, dearie. <laughs> How much glitter can there be on one item to have transferred onto everything? Look, funny. Mommy washed Athena's dress with everything, and now look, there's glitter on everything. It cut off because I ran out of memory or memory card. But yeah, Fabio's clothing actually is barely in I don't know anything of Fabio's here, so he's gotten away unglittery. However, Alexander, Athena, and I are going to be shiny for the foreseeable. Story time! <coughs> so. Long story short, in 2019, which was the last time I was in St. Moritz prior to last year, I wanted to go to Hermes and, well, just to let you know that all of my other Birkins are either from auction or from consignment, you know, these sort of uh, luxury resellers uh, websites. I think LXR and Co is the one that um, I used for one of them and then Christie's Auctions. For the others. Anyway, um, I personally think that secondhand Christie's auctions have some of the best prices, or in terms of resale. Um, I had no interest in playing the Hermes game when it came to those bags, and so this was the first time that there was sort of a mild interest in maybe inquiring in store. So I mentioned to my dad that I was going to pop into the Hermes store and maybe try my luck. And he was like, oh, um, I'm going to come and I want to get a belt or something. He wanted to buy something. So my dad has like a long standing uh, relationship with Hermes in that he's shopped there his whole life since he was young. And I feel like it's because of him that I, and my mum of course, that I even sort of know what it is. My dad and my mum are like both my style icons. Um, so we went and my dad has a relationship with the store, I don't. And being my dad, he just, I don't know if he went like right for it, but I think when it came to paying he was like, so how does it work with Birkins, whatever? He, I don't know, I don't remember exactly what he asked or how he asked, but he doesn't like to like play all the, the games. And so he was pretty direct about it, to which it was like, no, nah. sorry. Which was expected. I mean, that's how I had heard it was. And so it was like, I figured the sun is setting. So I need to not ramble too much. Oh, I'll just put the lights on. Um, Oh, my lips are so dry actually. I'm going to put on some Vaseline because I do not want to be, not Vaseline, why did I say Vaseline? Lip balm. I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be licking my lips the whole time because, ew. Uh, so this time around I had absolutely no intention of even asking or, yeah, it's just, I don't, I'm not, I'm not that person. Um, I'd rather just not. I'm very satisfied with my existing collection. So I went into the Hermes store and I knew what I was after, which was the sheep sandals, um, a bag charm. There were a few things that I wanted to see and so I was very much just like, oh, do you have this? There was a lovely sales guy in there um, in the St. Moritz boutique and I sort of, I guess, gravitated towards him and was like, do you have this and that and blah, 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 and we just got to chatting. And then when it came to paying, the manageress I recognised, and it's the same lady that my dad had spoken to. 
and I thought I would just say hi and I didn't think she would remember me or even know who I was and I said oh I don't know if you remember me or something like that I just wanted to say hi and she did remember me and I was shocked <laughs> to be quite honest because we haven't been there for years and anyway um, it literally happened like that but the sales assistant who was taking care of me looks over to the manager in conversation and just drops the should we make should we should we grant her a wish or should we whatever the spiel is and when I say my stomach fell into my badonk, like my, my jaw was invisibly on the floor. Um, she was like, of course! Yeah, you can imagine. I, I didn't even know what that meant. So, yeah. He then starts asking me all these questions. What would I like? Which bag? The colours? To which I was like, um... Well, I'm not an exotics person. I've got black and brown and red. And so I told him, like, let's do something fun. I'm, as you can see, quite a wild child. And I'd like to do something fun as opposed to just, you know, um, go for maybe one of the more sought after colors. So I told him the sizes that I liked. I personally do love the 25, but he told me that the 25 can go as far as your wrist and if you want to sort of carry it and be more chill with it it will not go past your wrist and it's very much like a handheld bag so personally given that the Birkin which is the bag that I made a wish for um, or the bag that I was asking to make a wish for doesn't have a long strap it literally the only way to carry it other than cradling it is by its handles so it didn't make sense to me to not have the ability to sort of easily carry it around now if you're looking for practicality I definitely think Kelly is the way to go and if ever for whatever reason I were ever offered another wish which I do do not expect to ever happen I'm so satisfied and grateful but it would be a Kelly um, because the Kelly I think in terms of practicality ticks more boxes than the Birkin however there's just something about the Birkin so I didn't know what it meant in terms of how long it takes when he was asking all these questions and paid and left and then Fabio went back to the boutique we, well, we went back but I waited outside with the kids and he wanted to do some Christmas shopping and he comes out and I'm with the kids and he's like oh that he wants you to come inside. I think it's, I, I don't remember if Fab said I think it's the Birkins or he said it is, it's your wish or something along those lines. But I was like, it had literally been like 48 hours since I was last in there. So I was just like, oh my God, like what is, is it about to happen? So I go in and it happened. Not only did I get presented with the bag that I chose, but I was very fortunate enough to be offered a choice between two. I don't know if that's a normal thing um, from the sort of very few Birkin um, Hermes store Birkin unboxings that I've seen. I haven't heard anybody ever say that they were offered more than one or that there was a choice. I had always thought that you kind of offered the bag and you kind of take it or leave it. Most of the time people take it. So yeah, I was given the choice and this is the one that I went with, you may, <laughs> excuse me, <gasps> I'm choking up, no, um, you may have seen her on my Instagram, but in terms of, oh the twillies are coming off, I swear twillies are renowned for coming off, twillies are the things that you have to put on the, or you don't have to, you have the choice of putting on the handles, sold separately of course, to protect them because the handles are the only part of the bag, if I'm not mistaken, the Hermes, well, the Hermes Spa will not service, clean, etc. I'm sure they'd repair them, or I hope they'd repair them if there was damage. But, uh, so, I haven't packed her, probably how they would in the store. But, 
here she is and I love her so much I feel like she is classic but also fun I guess classic in the colors but fun in the sort of presentation of the colors and the combo now this baby is actually a special edition I have all the information here because I don't remember but so it's Etoupe Grey and Sizam Sesame with a blue indigo interior and um, it says the color of grey which is Etoupe is no longer a standard color of Hermes Sizam has been reborn to spice up okay spice up your life uh, blue indigo is the color like I said it's on the inside but it's just describing it it also comes in a special edition orange box which unlike I have it here unlike the normal Hermes box the inside is navy so as you can see oh it's upside down it's a special navy box with the Hermes in gold I have the receipt. Oh, oh, I have all the receipts from the things that I purchased in St. Lawrence last year. But yeah, it's this stunning box that obviously I kept, will keep forever. I'll give it to Athena one day. Um, and it also comes with a special dust bag which has the navy Hermes. And what else does it say? Um, yeah, that it's an ink, it's got foil stamping on the navy box to accentuate, to further accentuate the specialness of the project of the product. Sorry, um, and yeah, it says so. This is obviously not 2023, but I think it's a 2021. Um, but it says the Birkin Cilia Kezak, the newest model of the Birkin line, is finally here. Um, the Cilia Kezak, boldly decorated with the tricolor, is finished with outer stitching that allows you to appreciate the Couge Siri stitchwork. So yeah, this, I think it's got the exposed stitchwork. One thing that is different about this one as well, I'm just going to open it carefully. Just checking the lighting, I'm aware it's getting quite dark. Um, it doesn't have, which I find interesting, and I believe it's because of, oh, so wait, let me do this carefully, you can see, so it's got, I've got the raincoat and everything inside, the navy interior, can you see the navy interior, sort of, um, but it doesn't have the stamping, and I believe that that's because of, so this line, you can't tell, but it's, it's not smooth. It's kind of like a puzzle bag in that there's a ridge. So I guess if they tried to stamp it with the foil, it, it would probably be uneven or something. But she's just a beaut. I will link this um, article about her down below in case you want to read up on this particular bag or you're interested in one. They also did it in pink and red. And I think there was another color, and I also think that there were Kelly versions of these. But I just, I think she's so beautiful and fun, yet classic, chic, and timeless. And she is coming with me, of course, back to where we became family, where we found each other. And I bought this on Amazon, which is little organizer that goes inside because if there's one thing Birkins are especially the bigger ones because my other ones are all 35s um, is they are like Mary Poppins bags you literally will have everything sliding around in there if you don't have something to help you now this one said it was gonna fit let's see shall we to be like a, oh it's a perfect fit, oh that's so satisfying, this is brilliant, oh my goodness, so yeah now I can, as you can see, I need to just straighten the sides, but it comes with 
this removable pouch which velcros on into the middle which is very handy if you want to separate oh, I always feel really weird pulling on this like I feel like I should tuck it instead of pulling on it but no I just yeah it's a goddamn bag woman yeah as you can see and then it also comes with this little guy to clip in the keys and whatnot. Love that. I feel like it also helps with the structure. But she is just perfection. And I think now you can understand why I feel like if I were never to be ever offered a bag ever again, well, that's okay. Because I'm very, very, very grateful to have experienced it. But yeah. I'm glad I got to talk about it too because I was worried that I got carried away doing stuff downstairs. I got these um, travel busy boards for the kids for the plane and I went to open them to just have a look and didn't know that every piece of felt that you velcro on to the activities you actually have to yourself stick each piece of like sticky velcro on the back and onto the busy board. It doesn't come with the velcro bits already attached so that was time consuming and I still have to do it for Athena but you know if it keeps them busy I would do it I will do whatever I have to um, put my airpods in there even though they're gonna need to be charged and I should probably close this baby and put her back in her dust bag but I hope you guys enjoyed that little story time um, it was honestly such a mind-boggling experience in in like the best way obviously um, and yeah one thing that also was really odd was being in there and when he's showing me the bags there's like there's like I don't want to say crowds that's a massive exaggeration but like people began to sort of flock it's a tiny boutique and we went upstairs and yeah People, a couple of people were like, and I literally overheard a lady say, do you have any Birkins? And they were like, no. However, like, she's looking at him showing me too. So I was like, yeah, like, I've been there. It's not a nice feeling to be denied like that. It's really odd. And then to be on the other end where, oh, I, I, I was obviously so grateful, but I get, I wish I had a cloak of invisibility sometimes or that we could be we could have been like in a different I don't know because I don't want anybody to feel like denied like that I know it's so silly and like in the grand scheme of things like absurd that you have to kind of play that whole game and that's I think just why I've never had any interest and well I guess karmically I was just you know, in the right place at the right time. Um, so yeah, that's my Birkin story time. We need to name her. What should we name her? Any suggestions? Something spicy like ginger. Ginger spice? No. Because ginger spice used to be really spicy and now Jerry Horner just wears white all the time. That's like her thing. She just wants to wear white, which is fine, but this would have to be white. Yeah, maybe like gingerbread. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Help a girl out. <laughs> Before I do my advent calendar, I just wanted to say, because it's kind of been playing on my mind a little bit, off the back of my last clip, the story time obviously about my Birkin, that I do not want to come across whatsoever as insensitive to what's happening in the world, or sort of make it seem like, yeah, you know, I'm going to talk about something like a handbag and then not talk about what's going on in the world. Um, I just like to keep things light and family fashion oriented and um, it's been really, really, really intense. Don't obviously want to make this in any way, shape or form about me because it's not, but just some of the imagery um, and just facts that are coming out um, 
on social media have been really, really, really hard on my mental health. Also in terms of sort of um, just feeling really helpless um, as much as, you know, we're all doing what we can. Um, I just wanted to mention that I don't want to come across, uh, like I said, insensitive or um, ignorant, if that's the right choice of word, or just, yeah. I don't want to take away from the important matters that are going on, um, but at the same time, I kind of feel like um, Vlogmas for me is a little bit of like escapism, well, in a way. I suppose it's giving me an outlet and um, yeah, I just want to use that to share more sort of light-hearted stuff. So on that note, my calendar. Number 10, here we are, a big draw again. Oh, she flew. It's looking like a full-size product, it's feeling like a full-size product. Origins. Oh, so this is the Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. I've never heard of this. Shake, pour, pat. <laughs> Feel hydrated, look refreshed. This deeply penetrating formula rapidly restores skin resilience. I feel like my skin could use some resilience. Powered by our signature complex, including yogurt. Triple ferment and fine dry line plumping, hyaluronic acid. Okay. It helps to hydrate, soothe, and renew the look of skin while refining the skin's surface. Alcohol free and skin pH friendly. For all skin types, including sensitive skin, this product contains natural ingredients which, which may settle. Shake well, pat on clean skin, AM and PM. Ooh. Look at that, that is a good amount. I'm trying to see what the mil is. 200 mil. Love that for me. See some reishi, I see resilience. Dr. Andrew Whale. Whale. Okay. So, that is it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed my vlog. I realize that I still sometimes look there and not where I should be looking out of fear that I'm overexposed or uh, blurry or just looking like a toe. Uh, but that's it from me. Quickly just want to say that I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I love you all very much and I will see you tomorrow.